I believe that the election of President Barack Obama and the re-election and strengthening of the Democratic majority in Congress will turn out to be one of the critical elections in U.S. history. In other words, one of the most important elections, marking a realignment. That means the likelihood of a generational shift in American politics. In other words, it's my expectation right now that in forthcoming elections, we will see the Democratic Party as the dominant party, much in the same sense that the Republican Party was the dominant party for the last generation or in recent decades. I may be wrong or I may be right about this. It depends on what the Obama administration and the Democratic Congress do with the power that the American people have given them. But let's consider the historical perspective here. Since the early days of the Republic and the election of President Jefferson, our country has shown the ability to change through peaceful means, to shift from one group in power to another, from the election of President Andrew Jackson, a man born in poverty, elected by the votes of men who previously had not had access to the ballot. Take that down to the present. Consider that that historical pattern, that historical cycle continues with the election of the first African American president, Barack Obama. Some 43 years after the passage of the Voting Rights Act, the point in history really, I think, when America achieved the status of a full-fledged democracy. It's notable in this regard that the generation of voters who never knew segregation in the legal sense um, are, is the generation that gave Barack Obama his highest level of support. For voters under 30, they supported Obama and the Democratic Party by margins in the neighborhood of two to one. We also saw some other significant shifts. Among Latino voters, there was a sharp increase in support for the Democratic Party as well. Asian Americans, who used to vote predominantly Republican, are now voting predominantly Democrat as well. But also highly educated voters, even the most affluent voters, who are likely to experience an increase in taxes, voted by a margin of 53% in support of Senator Obama. These are some fairly remarkable patterns, which is why I think this is a realigning election. Now, Will I turn out to be right or will I turn out to be wrong? It depends what the Obama administration does and what the Democratic Party does with the mandate that, and the power that the American people have given to them. And in my next segment, I hope to discuss some of the issues and policies that may succeed or may, may fail.